Hi, I'm Ian Cole, the Technical Director of the Indoor Air Quality Association, bringing you an IAQA tech tip on HEPA filtration. If you've ever researched air cleaners or high efficiency vacuums, you have inevitably come across the term HEPA. HEPA stands for High Efficiency Particulate Air, and these filters were first designed during World War II as part of the Manhattan Project to control radioactive particles. HEPA filtration is the standard when you need very clean air. The Institute of Environmental Sciences and Technology defines a HEPA filter as one that has a minimum particulate collection efficiency of 99.97% for 0.3 micron mass mean diameter particles. What's so special about 0.3 micron particles? That particle size is the most difficult for most filters to remove. I recently saw an inaccurate video online that said that particles smaller than 0.3 microns pass through HEPA like a bullet. Believe it or not, as you start to go below 0.3 microns, particles are even easier to remove. 0.3 micron particles are selected because they act as a worst case scenario. Some manufacturers falsely claim that they have HEPA filtration. Before you spend good money on a HEPA air filter or a HEPA vacuum, ask for documentation from an independent laboratory. Finally, many filters and vacuums may have a HEPA filter, but the filter isn't properly sealed, allowing for air and particles to bypass. The Indoor Environmental Standards Organization, or IESO, is currently working on a standard to field test HEPA filters. If you'd like to learn more about HEPA, consider taking a one-hour online class on media filtration in the IAQA University. Visit iaqa.org for more information.